Alright, this tape will be our run game tape. I'm going to start off by implementing all our runs. The first run I'm going to do is New York. Alright, then followed off by Indy Loco, Pittsburgh, uh, slash Washington, Oakland, slash Orlando, Tennessee, Dallas. Uh, I'll hit our Q runs, uh, kick. Tampa 4 and 5, which is TAC. I know we didn't get into that uh, this spring. Um, Ram statue. And then we'll also hit New York bounce and wind back. So let me start off by, by going through and putting on the board our 44 and 45, which is New York, and it's Boston when we're out of gun. All right. When we talk about New York, 44. 44 from the eye or from our home position. There's a couple different ways, obviously, that we can do it. Uh, uh, if we had a fullback in play here, all right, remember our alignment is heels at eight. Eight yards with our heels, okay? That's our alignment. Always. I won't keep hitting that, but I'm just going to say it right now just so that we're all on the same page, okay? So that's how we're starting off talking that heels at eight. All right, and the stance that we just talked about earlier, let's make sure that we do a good job of getting into a good stance because I just really believe that lead to so many uh, bad stances, I should say, lead to so many inaccuracy, inaccuracies in your steps. First off, work against the front that we worked against most of the spring, which is the mid front. Let's detail it up. All right, 44. If we're talking about 44 and 45, we're going to run 44 to the tight end. Obviously, we can run it either way. It doesn't really matter, okay? It just depends on what we as coaches feel like uh, is the best way to attack a given defense. 44, all right? The fullback's going to run through the inside hip of that tackle. He's going to try to ISO that defensive end as he's closing or as he's running up the field, making sure he's aiming points for that inside number, okay? Tailback. Tailback's going to take what we call an open step crossover, and then square up, okay? Quarterback's going to op open up somewhere in the neighborhood of, you know, between five and six, somewhere like that, uh, and, and, and drive the ball back to his deep. Ideally, we'd like to get this ball back to, at about five yards, okay? Five yards, somewhere right around there to give us an opportunity to press the hole and express our runs. So open step. Crossover, square up. First step's an open step. Second step's a crossover. Third step, square up. Sometimes you might hear me say, take a J step. Take a J step. The reason why we're doing that is because you always want your shoulder square at the point of attack. Coach, who are we reading and where is the point of attack? All right? We are reading the first down lineman past the center. The first down lineman past the center when we're at home. All right? So in this case, there's no shade, nobody in, this, in the A gap, nobody hit up on the guard. The next technique that we're going to read is that guy. All right? If he gives us an up the field movement, beating that block to the outside, then we're looking for the first cut up scene on the back side, okay? From here to here to here, okay? That's what we're looking for there. That's how we're doing these reads. If, in fact, we get a, a penetration inside the guard, now we're looking for our front side cut, either here, here, or obviously all the way to the bounce. So that's how we're going to read our plays. Now, as we detail it up, tight end and tackle are working a combo up to the Sam. Guards working the solo block and or he might end up with help, all right, on the three technique to the mic. Backside guard may get a little help depending on what call they have, have going on there, but he has a nose. Backside tackles working through for the wheel linebacker, okay? Basically, these guys are responsible for a zone. All these guys are responsible for a zone. So as they're working through these gaps, okay, depending on what line call they have in place, they're going to try to take care of, all right, these zones. Center's got this zone. Ta guard this zone. Tackle that zone. Tight end that one. And backside guard here. Backside tackle here. 
So that's the beauty about zone football. So however these things end up sorting themselves out, once you start getting movement, they should be able to pick up all the crap, okay, as long as they work their base and work up the field. That is what we're looking for for, for 44 and 45. Now, coach, the only change, how does that change when we're in gun? If we're in gun now, we're still taking the same steps. All right, running, running, running New York boy over here, or 44, all right, just like we just ran out of, out of I. Remember, we're in the line at the butt of the tackle. Heels at six now. And now it's the same deal. We take an open step, a crossover, and square up, okay? And that, again, that's important. The distance won't be nearly as far as I have you here, but those are our steps, okay? Those are your steps that you're taking. And now our read changes slightly. Still the same concept, the exact same concept, but now our read goes from the center's front tip, with whichever is right there, on back. We never want to read a guy all the way on the front side past the guard, so now our read goes to, from the three technique, in, when we're in, at center, or behind the quarterback, I should say, now it goes to the backside nose. So there's nothing on the center's front tip. The next thing that we see is a backside nose. That's who we're reading. Same type of philosophy. If he gets upfield penetration here, we're looking for the first cutback seam there. If we get a move to the outside, now we're looking to take this thing front side somewhere, all the way to a bounce. That's how we read our plays. We'll show you that on video here in a second. Okay. That is 44 and 45. And if we tag a Boston to that, if we tag a Boston to that, that just means the quarterback is reading the backside defensive end, and there's a there's a possibility that he could pull it out and keep the ball for himself. Nothing changes for us for our reads or anything like that. I will say this: when we run Boston. All right, when we run Boston, your ball, your fumble. What do you mean by that, coach? You expect the ball is coming to you on Boston. You always take it. You make that quarterback pull the ball out on Boston. Your ball, your fumble. So if the ball's on the ground, that is the tailback's fault. Not the quarterback's, the tailback's. Your ball, your fumble. Okay, next play. Next play is Indy. Indy is our ISO series. Indy, the accompanying numbers that go with that is 12 and 13. We run a lot of Indy here. So you have to know how to run these plays. Alright, for example, Indy, Indy boy, Indy boy, and I know all you older guys understand this. Alright, boy, girl. Boys left, girls are right, girls are always right. Cold is left, hot is right, there's an L in cold. Hot, girls are hot, hot's to the right. West, if you look over map, west is to our left, east is to our right. That's how we know which direction our run is being called. So anytime you hear 12 in the huddle and we got Indy call, all right, or you know, you know 12 is Indy and 12 is also Indy boy, excuse me, Indy Girl, Indy Hot, or Indy East. Anytime you hear 13, 13, 13 is also Indy, 13 is also Indy Boy, Indy Cold, Indy West. Okay, and the same is true with New York, all right? Sorry I didn't say that off the, right off the bat. But as we talk this thing through, Indy Boy, 
Indy Boy, Indy Cole, Indy West. Everything's coming over here to our left. That's usually the way we run it versus the 4-3. So you got a combination here block, back to the wheel. You got a base block, base drive on the defensive end. All right. A couple different ways they can handle this on the back side. They can either scoop this through and, and climb that way and cut off here, you know, which is usually kind of the way people do it, but or they can just send the tackle straight through depending on how wide that guy is. Like to get movement here at the point of attack. Get two double teams. That's why people like to run it to the shade, and we're no different. The majority, the bulk of our runs, when we see 4-3, when we run Indy, is to the weak side because we like running it to that shade to create the double teams, okay? So that's what we're looking for. The quarterback's driving the ball straight back. The fullback is ISOing the wheel linebacker. Why do we need to know that? We need to know the whole picture because if we run, if we run 12Q, all right, if we run 12Q, we got to know, or 13Q in this, in this example, who the fullback is blocking. The fullback's rules is block the, the middle of the play side linebacker to the strong side, to the weak side is the play side linebacker. Okay? All right, so... There's a middle backer present here. If we're running strong, he run it, he blocked that guy. If we're running it weak, he blocked this guy. All right, and that, that holds true with the very various fronts there, okay? No matter what you get. ISO steps. All right, shuffle drop. Shuffle drop. You can't see my feet. We'll show you on tape. Shuffle drop, all right, with our right foot back, and then take a step with our right foot going forward and we're running off the block of the, of the fullback. Now, versus a 4-3 defense, mid-defense like we have here, we also key the mic. We're running off the block of the fullback, but we're keying the mic, okay? What I'm telling you by that is, if the mic plays hard front side big time here, we always have to make sure we express that backside cut because now he's filling in there, there's a big gap right over here somewhere, depending on where that Sam feels, that the tailback can really exploit if he's got the vision to do so. That is Indy, Indy boy, Indy girl. Like I said before, it's usually run versus a 4-3 to the weak side. Our steps don't change. Our reads won't change. The only difference is versus a, versus a, uh, a strong front or a weak front, I should say. All right, there is no mid front 4-3 read. That's why I gave you the, the mid front rule, which is key in that mic. That's Indy. Loco. Loco is 48 and 49. For us, Rocket's the same as Loco. We read the same guy. We take the same steps. We'll do it out of one back, just for simplicity's sake. But it doesn't change for us whether it's one back and or two back. It won't change for the tailbacks. All right, loco 48, 49. We're going to take an open step. Our aiming point is three yards wide and about three yards which is about three yards, I should say three yards outside of the tight end. That's our aiming point. So wherever, the, wherever that tight end alignment is, three yards outside of him or three yards outside the imaginary tight end is where our aiming point is. That's where we want our first step to be aimed at. Three yards outside of that tight end. All right, open step, crossover, go. That's our steps for loco. Coach, who are we reading? We're reading the defensive end. He can't be right. If he plays our, our outside block to the outside, we, 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 we express the run, and we look for a cut-up scene inside of him. You can always cut this play up. You can never, ever, ever cut this play back. You cut it back, you're on your own, and you're more likely cutting back into a bad play. All right, so as we look at that, if he plays outside, we, we know we're coming back up inside somewhere. For some reason, we get an inside move. Now we know we're going to be to the outside somewhere. We're looking to express the, express the run off of the block of the second level. Okay, And then you better be ready to take it to the house if we can get outside because you're going to have a great, great opportunity to do so. So 
The blocks go as follows. The tight end is on him. The tackle has his help up to the Sam. The guard, we're running rocket right now, is pulling for the three technique. All right, or blocking the three technique. The center has his help up to the mic. Backside cutoff. Backside cutoff. All right, as Coach Mack will tell them, they don't chase. They continue through. For whatever, for whatever reason, that guy is gone. They go to the next level. But this is rocket 48 to 49. All right, that's the zone portion of it. Uh, with loco, there's some block downs and pull rounds, but we're still reading the same guys. Always the last down defender to the play side or to the call side. That's who we're reading, the guy with his hands down. If for some reason he had his hand up, I'd make sure I could alert you of that, that each week. There's a possibility that if we're running this play, that guy could be coming up there off the line of scrimmage without his hand being down. All right? That is Rocket and Loco, 48 and 49. We'll show you some clips of that as well. Pittsburgh and Washington. Same steps for the tailbacks. Same play for the tailback. I'm going to diagram both of these because it's a little bit different on the weak side, which is the Washington play. All right, but it's 26 and 27. Uh, meaning this, on Washington, there's a possibility of a outside cut more so than it is on Pittsburgh. But let's do Pittsburgh first. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's dialed up first. All right. The tailback, all right, the quarterback's going to reverse out. The tailback is going to do what I call a front side timing step and then go right downhill. Front side timing step and then get right downhill. We are reading this play A to B to C gap. All right, and we never sleep on the backside A gap cut. We're running it to the tight end side, which is Pittsburgh. All right. The reason being is sometimes that backside A gap cut is big. You'll see it. You don't, have, you don't have to look there. You'll see it big as day. Just don't sleep on it. Just keep your eyes focused on this gap initially. All right. And if you do that, your read once this thing is canceled out, your read, your read will naturally take you out here. Or if you keep your eyes here, you'll see a big, huge gap or cut on the backside. Okay. So that's A to B to C. Okay, the blocks, we're getting double teams here. Big time double team there between the guard and the tackle on the three technique, and they're working to the backside linebacker. The center's going to block back on the nose, try to prevent him from going over the top. That's where that backside cut can uh, really express itself. If you get this movement there, as well as this guy flying to feel for that front side A gap, so now you have nobody present on the backside. All right, your guard is pulling, your tackle's cutting off, he's sealing this gap for the run through. Then looking back here for the backside defensive end to make sure he doesn't come around this edge nice and sharp. Okay, all right. So you got your double team, your tight ends handling, handling the end, and now your guard. Excuse, let's go for your fullback first. Your fullbacks blocking the Sam stays true whether we're in the strong front or mid front, and then your your guard is wrapping around the double team for the Mike linebacker. So. You see how you can read this play from inside back out. There's a big time double team taking place. All right, so have patience on, on this gap here, making sure you don't leave that gap too soon, keeping your shoulders square, and then letting this thing kind of clear out in front of you, and then just express the run from there. If this thing is definitely going inside, go, go A to B to C gap for Pittsburgh boy, or excuse me, Pittsburgh girl, Pittsburgh girl, also 26, or Pittsburgh 26. The flip side to that, because we can run this week as well, the flip side to that obviously will give you the same front. It's Washington boy, Washington boy, still got the block down, you still got the block back. There is no double team here present, so we don't have to worry about that, okay? All right, but if there was a three technique there, the tackle and guard would be double teaming. All right, there is no tight end there, so we're working that defensive end with with our with our uh, fullback, stepping front side, doing the same thing we did before. All right, front side timing step or play side timing step. 
QB is going to reverse out, drive the ball back to you nice and square. The guard is still pulling tackle, still is doing his thing. We're either going to send the tight end through, all right, which is more than likely what we'll do unless we get a bear of a defensive end that we feel like we've got to cut off there first, all right, but he's sending him through for the Sam. This tackle here, instead of going to the backside linebacker, now when we go to the Washington play, he's going to the middle linebacker, and that's how we're expressing this play. The guard is pulling around for the play side linebacker. Now, Here's why this play could bounce, all right? Depending on where these guys feel, front side, this play, we're still reading A to B to C, but you see the C gap is really exposed. There's no other players out here, so depending on what you get, you get a wrong shoulder there, and you get some guys filling in here, all right? This play could be a big-time bounce play, but as soon as you bounce, you got to get up vertical as soon as you possibly can, all right, For the, uh, so you don't run yourself out to, a, to an unblocked defender, okay? Washington, boy, Washington, boy, what that was. All right, Pittsburgh, Washington, Oakland and Orlando. Same play for the tailback. One is just to the open inside. The other is to the, to the tight inside. Orlando's to the tight end. Oakland's to the open inside. Same play for us, okay? Same play for us, no big deal. We're trying to work through, take care, take care of this, of these guys. We're basically zoning this play on the back side and front side. We're just leaving the end man on the line of scrimmage for the pitch key. Quarterback's going to step off the line and run to the inside number of the of, of, of the, uh, the defensive end. We're going to stay nice and flat. And then once he starts to work downhill, we work downhill with him. Looking for the pitch, okay? We want to get into what I call a five by two relationship as best we can. In other words, we want to be a couple yards out in front of and about five yards deep from the quarterback. That's Orlando girl. Excuse me, Oakland, Oakland girl. Or Orlando girl. I'm sorry, I said it right the first time. Orlando girl. It's option. That's all it is. Option. Five by two relationship. Now when we go to the weak side. All right, when we go to the weak side, and I did say those backwards. Weak side is Oakland, same play, but well, now let's go out of gun. Let's go out of gun. Still, heels at six yards. Everything still holds steady there. Now, the thing that does change out of gun is, you know, we, we want to get wide right now. We want to have a little bit of patience, all right? But we want to stay nice and flat. I don't want you guys to get any depth off the line. Just get wide right now. I, I probably did a poor job of diagramming that there. But get wide right now. All right? With a little bit of patience because he's going to come down and attack the defensive ends inside number. Again, looking for the pitch there. All right? That's the pitch key. We're working our blocks, sealing everything else on the backside, and cutting off here, climbing to the next level if, if there's nobody there present. That's Oakland, boy, Oakland, boy. Okay? Again, the key coaching point there for the tailback, all right? Again, we want the same relationship, but the key coaching point is make sure you stay nice and flat uh, on your departure, angle of departure. Nice and flat on your angle of departure. Initially, when we're, we're in I, we stay flat in I initially, then we kind of come downhill. Here, we stay flat. All right, and then let the quarterback create the separation that we're looking for with the five by two in terms of the distance apart from up from both of us. Okay, and sometimes it doesn't always hold up as we'll see on film, but you'll see great relationships in terms of us getting out in front and outflanking the defense by staying flat. We'll see all that on film. All right, Tennessee. Tennessee is our toss series for the tailback. Usually out of bunch, or excuse me, out of posse. But Tennessee's our toss series here. And basically what we're looking for out of that okay, is 
is simply this. We want to stretch and puncture. We want to always jab step with our backside foot first and then stretch. Quarterback's going to reverse out and then pitch the ball to the tailback. All right, and we're keying the same guy we do on loco and rocket 48 and 49. So all our 48 and 49 plays, we're keying the same guy for, for, for how, where we take our cut. So if this guy here is a guy we're keying, we're reading that block, which is the defensive end, again, reading that block if the defensive end, for whatever reason, fights outside, we're stretching and puncturing somewhere up inside of him. If for some reason he's up the field and he gets pinned, now we're looking for these outside blocks to take place, okay? Outside blocks to take place, whether it's the, you know, whatever action goes on out there, and we're trying to run off of those guys, however that thing unfolds. But it's going to be outside of the defensive end, and we're simply off of his read. So stretch as hard as you can once you get that football, and then puncture off of your read. Stretch and puncture. That's Tennessee, all right? That's Tennessee, or Tennessee girl, or 48 and 49. Okay, we'll look at some examples of that. Simple play. The key for us is make sure we take that quick jab step with our backside foot before we get flat and wide. And don't come downhill when you're running that Tennessee too soon, because then you'll end up getting in that, that kick out block by your fullback on that corner on the, on, the, on the contained player. So make sure that you do a good job there. We'll talk about that in more detail later as we see it. Uh, Dallas, Dallas is our draw series. Let's go ahead and do, do it out of this. And this is blocked just like ISO for these for, for the fullback. Uh, obviously it's not like ISO for us, but same same responsibilities in terms of who people have. You know, we're going through to him, we're selling that, that draw, draw fake here. You know, he's got him. These two guys, you know, are working to the backside the guy. We're setting for the defensive end on the backside. You know, we're basically taking draw steps. Draw steps are very similar to our front side timing step for uh, Pittsburgh and Washington for, for, for us. You know, the fullback should be reading the, the, the first down lineman past the guard. So if we have a three technique there, you know, depending on what he does and where rush lane he takes, we're going to run off of him uh, to the right lane. It's the same guy that you should be reading for your right lane, but you're running daylight. You run a daylight because you could be getting all kind of twists and all that type of crap. Usually when you run draw, some, that type of stuff's going on. So you're running off the block of the fullback to daylight. To daylight. If you see a big, huge gap somewhere, you make sure you hit it north and south as quick as you possibly can on Dallas. This is Dallas girl in this case, or it's 14 and 15. Okay, that's Dallas. Front side timing step or draw steps, and then go. Let the quarterback drop, set, execute his fake, drive the ball back to you, and then hand it off to you late. Okay. Now we mentioned a couple, you know, we mentioned one Q run uh, on the ISO. Uh, basically for us, you know, anything that we can run, and some, some of the runs obviously we get into uh, tank 10 personnel, or particularly if we don't want our tailback blocking it, uh, we think our tight ends do a better job, but we can't always do that. But let's say, for example, we're running uh, New York Q, girl. All right. In other words, we're running zone this way. And so our responsibility would be with the fullback's responsibility, which would be is run ourselves through the inside number of the, of the defensive end. And basically, we're just, we're just dry blocking him because everything is going, you know, this way. You guys see what I'm saying? Everything is going that way. Okay. Let's say, for example, now we also want to run um, Q draw. Okay. Q draw. All right, we're running uh, Fort Dallas 14Q or 14Q over here. So now we know at the tailback, if we're running 14Q, I got a line over here 
to be able to pick up full back to normal responsibility to the tight end. His rule is in ISO draws the same middle of the play side linebacker. It's a middle linebacker present, so I know I'm running it strong here. So I have the mic. Set it, hit it. All right, that's 14 Q. Not a big deal there. So just remember your rules. We don't do a heavy dose of this, but we still need to know it just in case. And then if we had, this is the look that we got it in mostly. But if for some reason we ran 26Q, 26Q, now, your rule on 26 and 27Q or, or Pittsburgh Q girl, in this case we're running Pittsburgh Q girl or 26Q Q. All right, your rule is simply this. Tight end is going to gather the defensive end. We're going to work our combination block to the backside linebacker there. Center still blocking back, guard still pulling, tackle still pull ceiling. So the, the guard is pulling around for the SAM. We have to block our rule. Our rule is simply, simply this. We block SAM and less weak, strong safety. SAM linebacker, unless it's a weak front, backer shifted weak, then we block strong safety. All right, so now we know it's a weak front, we know we go to the strong safety. Best path, which depends on where this defensive end goes, on how we're going to get there. Path of least resistance. All right. So that's 26 and 27 Q. That's the look that we got most of the time last season. And uh, that's the look that we got to be able to block up when we're this play. That's what we're looking for. All right. Okay. 24 and 25 kick. diagram 24 kick. We could be in two tights, doesn't really matter what we're in for the tailback, but basically what we're running here is an ISO bounce. So ND bounce is what we're looking for when we run kick. Okay? And we're going to run that off of the fullback's block on the SAM linebacker. Okay? So what we're looking for here when we call up dial up kick is how's, how's this guy taking this block on? If, we're able, if, if, if he's able to get on him, you know, where we can bounce this thing all the way outside and so be able, we want to run off of that block. Generally what we get is some kind of strong front there when we're dialing this play up and we're looking for our block on this guy and he's going to duck his head inside and it's, it's going to enable us to get on the outside of that guy and get up the field vertical north and south right now. Just 24 kicks. So we take a drop step, all right? A shuffle drop, like we always talk about. A shuffle drop, now my left foot should be back, and my first step is with my left foot, right foot, and then on my, my next left foot, foot, when my left foot goes back down on the ground again, I'm looking for that bounce, and I'm reading that block on the SAM by the fullback, okay? It's an ISO bounce, that's all it is. 24 and 25 kick. Four and five tack. Five tack. All right, of course we can run tack Q as well. All right. But basically what we're looking for is this, when we run five tack. If we say kiss, we line up on the same side. Kiss is the term that tells the tailback to line up on the same side of the play. We step, we zone step to them, and then we just come back. We gotta get right in front of them, and then come back. All right, allow, allow the tackle to pull. All right, if it's, uh, 
we don't say kiss, then we just run it just like zone on the back side. Just like zone. Open, crossover, square up, and run it just like zone off the block of the tackle. Okay? Ram statue. All right, Ram. Ram statue is basically a gimmick play. All right, we're going to take, and I'll just give you the backfield action here. I really don't really remember what the guys are doing up front on that play, but uh, basically we're taking one, two, three, and then we're coming back. You know, we're coming back. We're coming back behind the other way. All right, and we'll, we'll watch this again. Play. Okay, got some cutups here of our runs. We'll look at it and uh, identify each run. We're going to start with New York. Uh, slash Boston. Remember, it's the same thing for us. There's a couple things I want to take note to. All right, this is uh, a queen set out of gun. Here's what I was talking about earlier, where the tailback uh, aligns behind the fullback, heels at six yards. Okay, so we're running Boston. Okay, Boston boy or New York boy. Doesn't matter. More than likely, it's not going to be Boston, obviously, because we have a fullback here on the backside taking care of the, uh, the read in Boston. But, but our steps are still the same, whether it's Boston and or New York for us. Okay, So New York boy, open step, crossover, square up. Not a bad job here of working to get himself square all right, at, at, at the exchange point. All right? All right? Like the paw step, don't really care for as much width as he's trying to get here, but we're looking for that depth so we can time that thing up and allow the quarterback to ride it and also give us time to read. Now, who are we reading? We're in gun. Now, our read changes slightly from in gun, and it is, it's just this simple. Center's front tip back. The first defender from the center's front tip back. There's that defender right here. That's who we're reading. He penetrates hard here. We're cutting it back. All right, behind him somewhere here or here. All right, and for some reason, we get him reached all right, with this guy that we're looking for a front side cut somewhere, okay? Not a bad read. I think it takes him a little bit, little bit longer than it should for him to recognize what's going on. This guard that's blocking this defender is not, does not have this guy reached, okay? So he should be looking for here, here, or there, all right? He should, if he's nice and square, Jason should be ripping this thing right off of the fullback's butt, right the field, all right? That's where he ends up going there, all right? He eventually gets there. Next rep. Same deal. All right, now we're now we're in I, all right, or we're at our home position. We're running 44, excuse me, 45 or New York boy again. We're running to the opening side. Reading the first down defender from from here out. First down defender past the center. So we don't count head ups. So we read the first down defender past the center. So we're New York boy. That's the first down defender. That's who we're reading. If we get him reached, we're taking the front side somewhere. If he plays his front side and when we can't get him reached, we're looking for the back side cut. And we go one gap, next gap, next gap, all the way to the bounce as our as our eyes go. Okay? Bang, bang, bang. Get up the field vertical north and south. Once you come off this guy's ass and, and drive this thing forward and get as many yards as you can. Get this, gotta get your shoulder pad square. That's not a bad run. Alright, let's take this, take a look at this a little bit closer up. Again, this is scales here. Alright. Open step, crossover, square up, not bad. Nice job of getting the shoulder pad square. Now get vertical, see that? He's a little bit slow at getting vertical here. I know this guy is sitting there, but put this shoe in the ground and get vertical so he can drive this thing forward for a bunch of yards. All right? Obviously, this is a, this is a banker. You see us turning around, looking back for the QB's check. Or for the signals, we got the three signal callers here. We get the play, we turn around, we know what's going on. The QB will echo the play to the line. All right, we'll give him the New York boy or Boston or whatever whatever the signal is. Uh, obviously, we're in New York mode here. Again, going to the open inside. All right, open step. Again, again a little bit of width and and uh, with, by Jason here. But again, the, the biggest thing that I want to see from you guys is get your shoulder pad square so you can do this. That's a good run. Same deal. Out of zone. Open crossover square up. There's our read. All right. He's playing his front side. 
So I'm looking here, 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 here. All right, whatever the first void I see, I'm turning up in it. If it's there, that's a nice job by Jason coming right off his ass, and here we go. Let's take a look at this from the close view. I think we got another angle on it. Okay, now we're in gun again. So the front is to this front tip back. There's the guy we're reading. If we get him reached, we're taking the front side. All right, where front side, first gap, that's the first look we take. If we can get that, we go there. We, if we don't like that, we go there. If we don't like that, we go there. If we don't like that, we go all the way to the bounce. But as soon as we like a scene, we get up in the vertical and going north and south. Another baker look again. All right, so we got to know all the signals. They shift late to a bear. All right, center's front tip back. That's still our read. It doesn't change. All right. So nothing really matters there. We got him reached, so we're in the wrong position here. Jason should be thinking as he's coming over to open crossover to square up, he should be thinking that I'm coming all the way out, out the front gate here. All right, this, the quarterback should be able to ride him all right, through this point as he's chasing the center's front hip, okay? On this case, the center's got him reached all the way. All right, that's the scene we should be in. All right, he eventually gets there. Somebody comes in there, now he dips back out. And goes to the next team, somebody shows there, dips back out, goes to the next team. Now, I don't like this drifting here, all right? I don't like that drifting going that way. I wish he would be going this way right now, vertical, right off of that cut. And I think we, you know, probably get the same amount of yards maybe we score, you know? Let's watch this one from the same deal. We're in gun, center's front tip back. Did center get him a reach? Yes. And then now, bang, he shows up. Here late, so now I'm thinking I'm looking here to there. Good patience here by Jason, finding the nice team on the backside, expressing the run, and just don't stop your feet in contact. Run through it. This is when you get down low and you run low, all right? Like you're going through the blaster. Don't slow your feet down or anything like that. Run through that contact point. Another, another Boston, or excuse me, New York boy. Square it up. There's our read, right? There's our read, first down defender, past the center, there he is. In I, now we're looking back, get vertical, good. Nice job there. This is the Utah formation. We didn't, we didn't do this a whole bunch, but we gotta know this. You see this guy's a little bit deep, all right? He's probably right about right, but we got New York boy going on here again. When we're in Utah, all right, whichever the side that New York is, the other side does the option phase away, okay? All right, so. New York boy, option away. New York girl, option away. And remember, the option is flat, no depth. So he should be coming flat here. Stay in option phase and get the width right now. So the only reason why I'll put that one on there. Same to this, look at this with a close view here again. New York girl, first down defender past the center. There's our read. Let's follow through here. Bang. Nice job of getting square. Just took him a little long. I thought he should be square right now. All right. And, uh, and not going downhill. I don't like the downhill motion by Jason here with this first step. He should be open, crossover, square up, and let the quarterback drive him back to him deep so he can make this cut easier. Easier. Now get vertical. Use your offhand as a weapon. Nice job. Bang of him hand, hand switching here. Should be nice and tight, high and tight, rip underneath. All right, we got a nice drill tape that we can go back and look at all that stuff when you guys have time. All our drills that we do during the season. All right. New York boy, first down lineman past the center. There he is right there. Let's take a look at A-Rob's read and steps. Open steps. Crossover, square up. Nice job of getting square. Don't predetermine this, but it should be more smoother, you know, in terms of those first three steps. It should be smooth. You should have to predetermine that we're going back there. Just take the steps and ride it out so you can get the, get the movement that you're looking for. And now get vertical. That's a nice job of getting vertical up in the seam, right off into the first seam that you can find. All right? I don't like this, Coach. Don't like this one. All right? If he likes that one, you take it. Somebody shows. You see, he's still going there. Now, this guy's getting driven right past that seam, and that's where he hits this thing at. That's a nice job. Let's go on to the next one. All right. We're on to the next play now. Let's make sure this one. 
not one as well. Let's see the other side. So, all right, we're on to the next play. All right, now we got Indy. Indy, girl, or Indy, boy in this case. Shuffle drop. There's a shuffle drop step. I want a more square presentation in your shoulders. I don't want you going out at an angle. I want you going more downhill initially at the exchange and then run off the fullback's block. All right, I want you to suck these guys in. So if these linebackers, especially the one on this side, decides to you know, take that away and take the inside, then we have a nice bounce. If he fills in his gap where he's supposed to fill in and this guy comes back over the top, now we look for the backside cut or stay in the hump and push the pile forward if they got an extra defender coming down the box. All right, right there. Stay right in that hump, good. That's a good That's a good. Good look at where we should be hitting this play going north and south. There's an art and there's an understanding to running between the tackles. And you gotta understand the play and what's going on in order to do things the right way. Now, you know, backside here, we should be handling him and him, all right? These two are working there, we got that. We, we don't have a half for him, we don't have a half for him. But if we push this thing vertical, we might be able to split these two guys here. Let's watch it. There's this guy filling his gap. You see, if we take care of who we're supposed to take care of here, then we got a nice seam right here, all right, right off of that hump. He's going to score the touchdown. Indy. Again, shuffle drop. Now we're going Indy Girl. All right, there you see us taking it to the open inside to the shade versus the 4 3 defense. Key to Mike for the backside cut. All right, he goes over top. You look for that backside cut and you express it. Now, this safety's got to make this play. I don't want you to come out here wide. All right, unless he overcommits, I want you to be thinking of coming right off his ass and getting vertical. Vertical right now. You see how wide Jason gets? All right, but it all starts with his initial path and how he's going wide here. He should start out nice and tight, and then you can make whatever cut you need to make, whether it's front side or back side. But you can't, it's hard to make a back side cut when your angle of departure is going off to the play side initially. Lay down hill, and then make your cut that you need to make. That's why we can't make that cut. Pretty decent run because he ended up running hard, but point 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 going on here. Still going to the shade. Indy girl. All right. Taking that. We got an extra defender down the box. There's the movement. There he is the fullback getting this guy reached on the outside. This shouldn't happen, but if it does, you got to take this thing outside the fullback. You run off the fullback's block. All right. There's nothing to tell me to cut this thing back. The mic's not playing over the top here. So let's feel this. Let's, let's feel right there. Vertical right now. Now, he ends up running hard and making this guy miss by drifting out. But, uh, you know, you can't count on that, obviously. Not against the guys we play. Indy boy. Stay nice and vertical. Good. That's a good, that's a good run. This is a good 5, 6, 10-yard run, whatever the heck it is. All right? But the, the, the thing is that we do is we, we stay right in the hump. Remember, we got two double teams going on. There's one, there's two. All right? So if we stay vertical, allow the mic to go over top, and now we look for this seam. If I don't like that one, all right, and obviously I come back. But if you can't really tell where to go, then stay right in this hump and just push it vertical. I think, I think that's what we do here. Good. Good. Just run. Run. That's a good 10-yard gain right there. Probably put way too many clips on here, but but uh, you know here's one. Let's get to the, let's get to the, the, the other view of this one. But we can see it from this angle here. All right, this is Indy, Indy boy, Indy boy versus the four three defense again. All right, with the Sam walked up on the line of scrimmage. Now the Mike's there. There's a safety down low. All right, so here's a double team. There's a double team. We're working a combination there. There's a good nice push in the hump. There's a fullback kicking his man out, running off his ass, get vertical in the hole. Outside player has a chance to make the play. It doesn't wrap up because you're running through it, and now go score a touchdown. That's a good job. Now, here's a nice job of, of, of Jason Scales here. If you notice on this one, there is no departure from the initial angle, which is straight downhill. 
He can make whatever cut he wants to, but he doesn't have to make a cut because the thing opens up right down the freaking pipe. Now go score a touchdown. Don't get caught. Don't get caught from behind. You know, when you run this play properly, and, you know, again, you know, JJ here, or I should say question mark, is, is, is angled out. His angle departure is out. It should be straight downhill. Now he's got to make a cut to kind of get back in this hump a little bit. He should be here, and then bang, take this thing to the outside. But a good run all together, you know. Good run. We have, we have a pretty decent understanding of what's going on there. All right, next play. All right, here's a, uh, a Q run. And remember I said, you know, I, I told you guys that we got pullback rules and responsibilities. There's our play side linebacker. This is this is just 12 Q or Indy Q girl. All right, bang. There it is. There's a the play side linebacker. Nice job of getting up on them there. They, they shifted down to a bare defense. So these, these guys are going to stay big on big. We got the sole linebacker here. We read off, we read the first down lineman past the guard for an entry point. First down lineman past the guard for an entry point. If he charges here, I got to come inside. If this guy charges that gap, then I look all the way in here. But I got to find a gap based off of what this guy does. If he comes inside, then I come right here. Unless this guy comes inside, then I got to come all the way outside. You read this guy to take you to which gap. It's like reading a hole. If that gap is closed, all right, because he's charging that gap, I look to the next gap. All right. If if he comes in this gap and this gap is open, all right, I look to this gap, somebody fills that gap, I look to the next gap out. So, you know, we, we go off of this guy, whether we go outside or in, based off of what he's doing. Let's take a look at this. He's here, so now I'm looking inside, I got a gap inside of him. Bang, there it is. A nice job there. Good read. There's another nice job of staying in the hump. I think we saw enough of those. Uh, let's take a look at the next play here. Let's see where we get to. We got a number of those on, a number of these ISOs on here. All right, should be loco. Let's take a look at it. It's a good run here by Jason. We read the last down defender to the call side. There's our read. You notice we already got him reached by alignment, so we're going to reach, reach. All right, this guy is on the inside move, so I should be thinking as I'm coming, open step crossover. Remember, our open step is, is not this much of a lead step like Jason's taking here. Puts us too close to the line of scrimmage, but it's more, more of an open step, three yards outside of the tight end. So it's over here somewhere, all right? So that's my aiming point. Allow the quarterback to drive it back to you deep. You get that ball, and now you express the run. You know you're going outside somewhere, all right? And I think he ends up hitting this in the right spot, but again, I don't like the steps.
You can always cut this play up. I don't ever want you to cut it back, but if we need to cut it up, we can cut it up. Now, if you see here, A-Rock takes it to the outside. He gets skinny through the hole and drives up for an extra yardage. Local girl, there's our read. Take a look at it. Our read gets outside. So now, again, not as good a step as last time here, though, by A-Rock, right? All right, still get the ball fairly deep, but it could be a little bit deeper. And if he was a little bit deeper, he'd be getting about right here. And now he can really express this cut that he's about to make here. You see that? Right cut just made it a little bit harder for him to make by taking the wrong steps. All right. There's more locos. Obviously, when we go outside, we go outside. Let's see if we got any uh, loco. Loco. Continuing on with our run game. Looking for uh, a rocket. All right, here's a rocket right here. Or it's blocked like rocket. All right, there's our read. There's our read. Got him reached. I'm thinking outside all the way. Use our, got our offhand free as a tool to express the run and finish the run. Nice job. Got to get going now. Once you know it's an outside deal, you gas it. Alright, let's take a look at this one. Alright, there's our read right there. He's outside the, ta the tackle. So I'm looking at that thinking I'm the, for my first cut up scene. There it is, right there. Right in front of your face. Get going vertical, nice move in the hole. Got your offhand as a weapon. All right. Here we go. Uh, decent run, poor finish. There's our read right there. Not a bad, not a bad open step though. Crossover, pretty decent exchange point. The ball's on the line, so we want about five and a half yards. All right, that's right about five and a half yards. Our read tells us outside all the way, so we're outside running off of these blocks. Good. Poor ball secure. Let's tuck that thing in here nice and tight. Don't be swinging that thing out like that. All right. Now let's get going vertical. Get going vertical. Don't run out of bounds. Don't run out of bounds. Again, there's our read. He's already outside the tight end, but we got to look at him. Bang, he almost gets him reached, but he widens the hole as he, as he goes. So now once you see him peek his head out of there, I know I'm inside him somewhere. I just took the hand off. All right, not a bad open step. Look for that first cut-up seam inside of him. There's one right there. Good job. Tuck the ball away in your outside arm here, okay? And so you can use your, your, your right arm as a tool or a weapon to fend off potential would-be tacklers. All right. So you can see our, our read is the same on Rockets and Locos. These last several have been have been locos, I'm excuse me, rockets. So our read stays the same on all of those. Let's see what we got here. Alright. Now we're in the Pittsburgh. Okay, let me make sure this last one went to Pittsburgh too. Alright, it's a Baker call. Baker calls, take a look at it. Now, Pittsburgh, we front side timing step, boom, boom, with both feet, and then take a step with our inside shoe first as we go downhill. We should be reading this inside to outside, A to B to C, all right? Never sleep on the backside A gap cut. If you're staying vertical and you're looking at this hole, you'll see this one big as day if it comes available. Let's take a look at it. Pittsburgh. 
See, see how A Rob's shoulders are turned here? I don't want the shoulders turned there. I want them going that way, vertical. Not, not pointed out, vertical. All right? He ends up hitting us in the right spot. Let's keep our shoulders vertical and then make, them, make the necessary cuts that we need to make all right, as we run through the hole. Same thing here. Read it A to B to C. Never sleep on the backside of A gap cut. This is Pittsburgh. Boy, Pittsburgh, boy. There's our first read. All right. You see that there is a little hole there, but if you don't like it, that's fine. All right. Come on around this thing. All right. Don't like the next gap. That's fine. Then you look here. All right. Once you get in there, then finish it just like this. Run right through their ass if there's somebody sitting in the hole. Let's get us some yards. Okay. All right. So this goes. Ball's on line of scrimmage. He beats you a yard past the line of scrimmage. You drive yourself another three yards for a four-yard gain. That's a good, tough, hard four-yard gain. I love it. Sometimes that outside cut is, is going to present itself for you. When you make it, get out there and get vertical as quick as you can. But, you know, be a ball carrier. I'm reading it A to B to C. All right, when the D gap is there, it's there. All right? You didn't like it in here, that's fine. He wants to be a ball carry and take it outside, but you better, you better get out there now. If you're going to get out there, get out there. Make sure you have the speed to express that run and outrun people. Now, that's your decision. If you don't have the speed to do it, don't do that. All right? Same deal here. Now, watch Jason come at an angle here and then have to come back inside to hit the gap that he should have stayed in, stayed with initially. See it? He eventually gets back in there, but the momentum that he loses from having to make these cuts, all right, is, is invaluable, especially if there's an arm tackle that you have to go through in here. Pittsburgh, boy again, all right? Make sure you have the speed to get out there if you're going out there, and again, get vertical as soon as you can. This is the unblocked defender. We got a wide coming in for safety, Put your shoe in the ground and go run and score a touchdown right here. Outrun this guy. Don't run to him and make his job easier. Put your shoe in the ground and let's make it a foot race. Let's watch this one up close. A to B to C. It's the Baker call again. Good patience at the top of it. Bang, bang, go. We also run Pittsburgh out of gun. This is a kiss, Pittsburgh girl. Kiss, Pittsburgh girl. Now, with this run, this is a one-back play. We're going to have the right look. Probably put this with the Baker call. But with this run now, this makes us have to um, take... Zone steps, see that? Zone steps, pause in front, slight pause in front to allow the, the, the guard to get out in front of you, and now run. You still read it the same way. This is an excellent run. Let's watch it from this angle. Zone steps, slight pause right there in front, allow the, allow the guard to clear, and now you run. Run right off his block. Still read the same way, A to B to C gap. All right, he didn't like the A gap. Either one, he goes outside, runs away from a, a, a would-be tackler. All right, but he still keeps it inside going vertical. All right, I like the fact that he has his offhand free, all right, as a weapon to fend off some of these blocks in the hole. There's not a lot of traffic in there. He's not running through two bodies. It's not tight. It's not tight. All right, got one body in there. Fight that off and now run. Keep the ball nice and tight. Yes, I like how he's keeping the ball nice and tight. Now you just run. You run when you got to run. You just run. Kiss, Pittsburgh girl. Same deal. Good read by Jason here. Read it inside back out. If he didn't like this cut, that's his decision. Thought he could have ripped it there too, but he follows the guard. All right. Gets to a bigger hole. Decent pause there by A-Rob. Running between tackles there, that's good. Same thing, that was Kiss Pittsburgh girl. Got 
Got a banker call on here. This is going to be an option. Oh, excuse me, I ISO. Getting ahead of myself here. Our power. Another Pittsburgh here. Another Pittsburgh here. Pittsburgh boy. A to B to C. Still we got a little angle, angle out by A Rob there. All right, but it does a nice job of getting back into the, in the to the gap where I think he needs to go, which is inside, getting down low and fighting for extra yards. Let's see if we can get to another play here. Good finish here. Uh, I like showing the touchdowns, obviously, because you know so many. This play can hit so many different ways. Uh, whether, whether he hits inside, or in this case, if you have the speed, get outside, bounce it like A-Rob does. There's an offhand as a tool or a weapon. Make sure you have it free to fend off any would-be tacklers there, and then just run. All right. Now we get to our option phase, our Oakland's. Oakland's and Orlando's, okay? Oakland and Orlando's are options to us. Doesn't mean anything different for us. Um, you know, the only, the only thing that's going to be different is when we're in guns, we're going to make sure we stay tight and stay right flat down the line. You know, here, uh, we come flat down the line as well, try to get into our pitch relationship, which is five by two, all right, out in front of everybody and get, it, get up the field. This is a good run here by Jason. Decent pitch relationship. Quarterback should step off the line and then begin again begin to attack the pitch key, uh, which in this case with two outside is going to be the outside guy. All right. So as we're working, it's a pretty good relationship there. All right, that's approximately five by two. Bang, got the ball out in front. We should look at the pitch all the way into our hands. All right, now once we secure the ball, now go look for a seam. We should have the defense out flanked. You have to secure the football first on all options. Oakland and Orlando secure the football first. Here, here it is out of gun. You see, uh, we get too we get too much depth here. We should be flatter now. We shouldn't be we shouldn't be we shouldn't be deep. All right. And then the second thing is, all right, is that uh, you know you got to have a little bit of patience not to run away from the court quarterback when we're in when we're in gun. Tuck the ball away in your outside arm. All right, don't swing it. That's bad football. That's bad ball mechanics. You can't play for us at this level when you're when you're doing that. Okay, you gotta learn how to take care of the football. That doesn't do it. Got to get your beat on Saturdays. I mean, look at all these times when the ball is the ball is not secure. All right, we do a drill for this. Look on your drill tape. We're about to put our hand down. That ball should never come away. This is so bad. I mean, such bad ball mechanics. I mean, this is the type of stuff that gets you beat. This is what I call playing hood ball. You might as well be in Division Three if you're going to play like this. With the ball down like down low like that. No one in the NFL runs like that. You don't see any, any ball carriers run, all right, when they're, when they're running through traffic with the ball that free and that loose. All right, better job here staying flat at a, at a gun. All right, again, don't come downhill too soon. Get the defense out playing. Good finish here. Good finish. Get your pass down low. Be the hammer, not the nail. Get your pass down low, run through them. Good finish there. Again, outflanking the defense. Get your pass down low, finish. Finish for the first down. That's an excellent run. Nice job of staying flat here, pushing for width, get the defense out playing. Now go run and score, score a touchdown. Keep your offhand free as a weapon. Let's look at this closely and see if we get it, get it free. I think this is a nice run. All right. Keep that, yeah, that offhand is free. Don't just absorb the blow. If you're going to dip your shoulder, then dip it and rip through there and blow through there on 
I'm going to fiddle those, some of those hits off. Tennessee, Tennessee girl, down, there's our read. Just like on Loco and Rocket, we still read the defensive end, the last down defender. All right, he gets caught with some trash here. All right, you think that that's an outside read? I'm with you. Let's go with it. Let's find our outside blocks and let's see which one we're going to run off of, okay? Run off his butt, now let's run off his butt on the second level. Bang, nice job. Nice job making somebody miss, getting vertical in the hole. We want to stretch and puncture. We got to take a little jab step. See that little jab step he takes with his backside foot? Now get some width. Stretch, puncture. Don't be coming downhill while you're trying to stretch this play. Stretch it right now. Open up, open up some seams in the defense. Get these guys running over here and now slice them. Slice the defense in half. Poor finish here by question mark. All right. I fully expect we get one on one with the linebacker and we're two or three yards away from the damn end zone and we can get our pass down low enough or ele elevate high enough to get through him. If he's going too low, we can't get underneath him and we ought to be ele elevating through him over the top. It's a poor finish. Again, there's a little jab step, not much, just kind of turns. All right. Stretch, puncture. 
One grip, one very good run there. Alright. Had to put this one on. There's so much that's wrong with this though. You see Rick here is getting some, some depth. Alright. We got the jazz step away, which should be stretching flat, not, not with depth like he's doing. Rick here is climbing. But I really like the finish finisher. Obviously, this is a good hard hard run here to fend off that tackle. But you know, bang, I mean. You guys remember that one from the spring, obviously. That was a big time finish there by Rick. Poor ball security there by Rick again. All right. Nice job of taking out three tack would be tacklers there. One, two, three. Keep going. Now let's take out him. Or he took out us. We popped up first. All right. The thing I like about this um, is the finish. But the thing I want to point out, it's a good finish by A-Rod, just getting vertical and turning this into, into, you know, running a negative play, we end up getting a yard on this. But, but the thing that I want to point out is, on this we jab away, we must keep our eyes on the ball the entire time. You cannot take your eyes off the ball, all right, until that thing has been secured, that pitch has been secured. You know what your read is doing. Your read right now tells you, all right, tells you right away, you know where the read is, he's inside, okay, get a pre-snap read on it, but look at the damn pitch when the ball is coming all the way into a secure position. A-Rob's eyes are downfield right now, that ball is not tucked away, all right, you can't do that. That's a turnover waiting to happen. We had way too many turnovers with, with, the, uh, with the damn toss last year. All right, this is draw. Or Dallas, 14 and 15. Let's take a look at it. Just like a, just like a power step for us, front side timing step, we allow the quarterback to drive it back to us nice and deep, and we're running off of these blocks. Now we're getting a bear hug here up front, but our fullback's taking us to this gap here. Uh, good patience there, and he's going vertical. Let's finish the run, let's express the run. Same deal, there it is. Stand down nice and low, run off the fullback's block, now you get back. Run the daylight on draw, run the daylight. That ball tucked at the finish. This is actually a nice job, a uh, decent run uh, by Bo. I didn't think he had enough patience at the top of this. All right, just, you know, just running through it way too fast. Taking this down for about five yards and he should be taking it back here somewhere. But then once he goes, I like how he gets in, into the into the hole and gets going vertical, expressing that run north and south. All right, these will be the kick plays. Kick 24 and 25. Uh, this is 25 kick. Remember, we're running off the fullback's block. All right, there's the block that we're reading. Bang, run right off his ass. If we run off of his ass like we're supposed to, he's got this guy reached. We're coming out here. Way too close and sucked up to his ass to do that. Let's look at our initial steps. Way too fast. They're not, they're not even over at all. All right, it should be a shuffle drop to the right. Give this thing a little bit of time to sort itself out. And then bang, now we're running out here. Now I'm trying to outrun this guy for a touchdown as opposed to sniffing the damn fullback's ass. All right. Let's take a look at the next one. All right, first of all, uh, okay, we're okay here. Eight yards. It was an eight, we're a little, little bit shallow. Should be, you know, back about you know another, another, another six inches or so. Better job on the shuffle drop, reading the fullback's block. Ah. Good hard run though, third and short. A good run here by, by Scales. Shuffle drop, run off the fullback's block. There he goes up in there. You take it up in there. Good job. Good job for the touch. Good finish.
Right off the fullback block. Good. Good, good seam inside. Nice job there. So we have some success running this play, which is the reason why teams later on were really waiting on this one. All right, too, too, too wide, okay? Let's look at our steps, shuffle, drop, that's good. Bounce out here now, vertical, right now. Put your pass down and finish this run. This is third short, man. Punish somebody on these. Vertical, good, good, Scales, that's nice. Let's watch your steps, shuffle, drop to our left, good. All right, so we're looking at it to the right here. I'd like you to stay down north and south here initially, but there's a bounce. Here we go, north and south. Good. It's a good game. Nice job of getting that first down there, obviously. All right, running off the full batch block. It's a bounce. All right, good. Get vertical in that hole. Poor run. Nice, nice job of trying to finish it out. That was a poor run. This one he shouldn't even be on here. He's elite this far. We got well, I have a chance here. Alright. Here's his own lineback. New York lineback. Okay. Lineback is taking it to the back side. All right, once you get out there, get vertical in the hole. Nice job, okay? Don't keep drifting out and running out to an unblocked guy or a corner that's falling off of a wide out. Take your steps, open, cross over, square up. On that third step, man, you're gonna press that hole in. Now you start to wind that, that puppy back and get vertical. Work the south in the hole. Wind back, open, cross over, square up. Get it back, get going vertical. Let's watch this from the end zone. All right, watch the seam that's going to present itself over here off of his ass if we do a good job of coming right off his ass there. See it? We, sh we shouldn't keep drifting. We should be coming here tight and force that guy to do it. He's going to stay out there wide. Let's, just, let's go ahead and get up in there. Don't keep drifting. Bird, good, good. It's a good run. Six, seven yard run. I like that. Open crossover, square up, wind back, get right through that seam, get down low, drive the pile. Poor run, poor finish, I should say. A good run, poor finish. I don't like the steps. All right, it's, it's too, it's too flat. All right, that first step shouldn't be going that way. It should be going this way, all right? A little bit of depth, but aim that way. I just like to take it by the gun and then square ourselves up, and then bang, let's hit it. Four steps, now vertical. See how we're running out toward this guy? We should be running through this guy this way right now. He's looking at him. He should be trying to outrun this guy right now or, and or power through him with the stiff arm and or flipper, not run right to him. Another line back. Take a look at his steps. Should you again, we're all you know taking these steps too too wide. We should get a little bit of depth. All right, square up and cross over. The quarterback opened up wrong there. But it's a good job on the line back get, getting up the field. Okay. All right, zone bounce. Now bounce. Vertical. Good. Good. Open crossover square up. All right. Now bounce it. Get vertical right now. Good run. All right. Wasn't very many of those. All right. Let me go ahead and erase this while, while, I'm, while I'm at it. Don't need that on there either. All right, so we, you know, we ran this a few times against Texas. Uh, 
Again, I wish our shoulders were a little bit square there by Jason initially. Uh, but this is, again, you know, this is a, not an not a every down play. This is just something that we do from time to time. We'll throw it in based off of some teams that we feel like a rock and roll type team and we, we can take advantage of them. Um, you know, all these other things that we're doing, looking at right now are one hitters. You know, there are plays that you might run once or twice a game, every, you know, two, three, maybe four games. Uh, here's Ram statue, one, two, three. Come back the other way. All right. Here we go. Just run, get to the outside, and express the run. We had a few of those. A Rock took two steps here. I thought we said the end there. One, two, three might have been a little bit better timing because the quarterback's going to come to you a little bit. All right. Let's look at here. Let's look at Jason run this. One, two, three. Yep, that was pretty good there. All right. And get out here and express the run. One, two, three, play, come back. Here we go. Good job of using his offhand here. You know, you're not gonna fool somebody every time with these plays. These, again, these are just one hitters now. These plays you run, you know, maybe once a game and put it in there every so often, so. Not something that stays in the game plan all the time. Uh, here's an example of a play, you know, I put this one in here, we're getting thrown around, you know, this guy's coming up the field, we know he's going to field. If you see something this bad and you can't get outside, there's two guys outside, maybe you only see this one, just get going vertical, don't make him turn a bad play, a gimmick play into an even worse play, just get going vertical, north and south as quickly as you can and, and try to get what you can here, you know what I'm saying? If it ends up being a couple yards, and we lose three yards, and so be it. If it ends up being one yard, we lose four. Or maybe you, you really put your shoe on the ground and we can get more, but don't turn it. Don't turn what, what would have been a, uh, let's see what this would have been, probably a six yard loss, right? Seven yard loss at, at worst now, assuming you didn't just put your shoe on the ground, but don't turn a seven yard loss into a 10, 12, 13, 14 yard loss. Okay, that's that's double that's double the pain there. So that's that's the that's the key there. So that's our run game. All right, that's our run game. And uh, the next tape we'll go over our our pass game, which will be really simple, along with our pass protection. Okay, and obviously there's a nice easy way that we teach pass protection.